Ooh, Lord, man. It's a beautiful day outside on the cool, baby. It really is. So, man, so we got to go to uh, Walmart, you say, huh? Yeah. What you going to get from over there? I got to get your little stuff for his phone. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. you no, know, what, what you really, what you thought about that fight last night, baby, with Tank, with, with Tank and uh, Hector Garcia? Javante Tank Davis and Hector Garcia. What you thought about that fight? Because I know you're a Tank fan and stuff, but... I love Tank Davis, and Tank Davis put in the work last night, the best he could possible. A uh, few of the rounds, you know, Hector Garcia yeah. gave in, dug it in, dug in Tank shit, dug in his ass. Yeah. Tank, Tank came back. Yeah. At the end of the day, I, but me personally, I'm going I'm to keep it real, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like it was a good pace fight from, from start to basically almost mm -hmm. finish. It was a good pace fight because both guys were doing what they were supposed to. And not to mention, I was seeing a lot of stuff with Hector Garcia. Hector Garcia was actually making Tank respect some of his 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 power. He was making him respect that power. And it's just crazy to me that they were actually, due to something that took place outside of the ring, they would stop the fight and watch what's taking place outside of the ring when you got a, a, a big fight that's happening inside of the ring. I don't understand that. I don't know why they did that. I don't know what was going through the ref's head. I don't know if this was a, a fixing due to the fact that because uh, they got to make Tank and Ryan Garcia, but from what they're saying, that Ryan Garcia and Tank fight is already etched in stone. It was. I told you that. Bay for April. I told you that. that range, so man. I knew that Tank knew that he had to come out there on his best shit because yeah. he already got a fight that's set in stone. It's marked as there. It couldn't be removed. I've never seen a fight set in stone then a, a fighter lose the prior fight. Then then what? But, you but what you gotta shit, put in a lot of time yeah, and money what, for that stuff. What, shit, what does that tell you though? Shit, in reality. It tells me nothing because everybody's talking about well, Tank Davis, uh, they, they threw him off in the, with the stuff that happened in the crowd, the drama in the crowd. But at the end of the day, they can't say that because guess what? Tank Davis had a break, uh, and so did Hector Garcia have yeah, a break. But listen, so both people was able to get back their momentum and, Hector, and their stamina. No, no, Tank and Hector are not the same people. People got to understand this part right here. We are not built the same. So what is effective for Tank is not effective for Hector. Maybe, maybe at that moment, Hector Garcia was gaining momentum, and Tank Davis, once he got that little second win, I mean, that's, it had to have happened, because look how he came out. The second win, and then your boy cooled down. That's what it looked like to me. It looked like Hector Garcia cooled Six down. Six or seven rounds, they came like out slugging it. Tank Both of them was on each other's head. Yeah, I mean, for a second. No, the whole At time. At the end of the day, I just don't understand why did they do that. See, why did the ref stop the fight? You got to remember that a lot of people say, well, politics is involved. Even if, even if yeah, people, no people, doubt. people no pay, doubt. they, you know, they bet on the fight. All this stuff. Hector Garcia got fans. Tank Davis got fans. At the end of the day, ain't nobody fault that Tank Davis, he fights two, three times out the year. Unlike these other washed up fighters who only fight one time every uh three, four years. You, you're not a fighter fighting like that. You're not going to be effective. Uh, I don't know, baby. I don't know. I mean, I understand what you're saying. I understand the, the what you're trying to say about the format of how you fight or whatever. But it's just the fact that that ref stopped that fight when Hector Garcia was doing good. The he ref was being, he was being, look, he was gaining momentum on Tank. And, I mean, a lot of people seen that. I mean, it was, the fight was close. It was close. Why would you stop the fight? Like I say, Tank and Hector are not built the same. Seemed like to me, Tank caught a second win and Hector Garcia cooled down. Tank is a he, tank. That's why the name is Tank. Yeah, that's understandable. You're but dealing with a tank. Man, it's understandable. Gee, he gonna load, he, and he going to unload his tank on whoever the opponent is. I, I don't know, but I don't know. I just feel like, you know what I'm saying, they didn't have to stop the fight. They could have, hey, I would have been happy with them going the whole 12. But how can we rob, how, how can people get mad and say, well, they robbed Hector Garcia of the fight. How could they rob two people who are both taking the rest? It was get a mad robbery. at the ref. 
get mad at the ref because no, he didn't want to stop the fight. It wasn't a robbery, but this is what I think happened. But that's what people are saying well, online. Well, at the end of the they day, robbed I'm gonna them. Say this. robbed them. I'm gonna say this much. Your boy Hector Garcia went into this fight with the will to beat Javante Tank Davis. But once he seen, once he realized, hey man, I'm not gonna be able to beat this guy because everything's against me at this point. And that's when he was like, you know what? Let me just let it go the way it's supposed to go. Not let me disrupt the universe. Because that's what he was trying to do. He was trying to disrupt the universe, I feel. And they stopped it. They stopped it. Even in the corner, Tank's trainer was like, okay, let's wrap this up. Once he said that, then I heard something about uh, Meek Mill was in the crowd and him and uh, Gary Russell Jr. Tank Corner talking. told him you're losing. And they say, they say uh, in the six, in the sixth round, the, the, the people in this corner say, you losing, Tank. You okay. losing. He say, no, the fuck I'm it. not. Just like that. So Tank knew before the little issue with the, the dream nightmares, whoever it was in the green and black jackets who caused the ruckus. Well, before they caused the ruckus, babe, it's the, the Tank Corner told him, they say, you, you, you fucking loser. He said, no, the fuck I'm not. So Tank knew before the fight even happened that it was time for me to go up in there and give him what I got to give him. They told him. You can't handle him. He's backing up on you. You can't handle him like that. Go another route. He came in the ring ready to go another Man, route. I, I seen, Simple and plain. I seen Hector Garcia utilizing that jab, and I seen him. He's a good fighter, no doubt. I'm not going to take away from a fighter he, that I know can, quicker, that was coming with it. Was, he was coming with he it, don't think. He fought at a uh, faster pace with Javante Tank Davis than he did against Chris Colbert to me. He was more in the uh he was more dominant in the Chris Colbert fight. I don't know Chris Colbert. But in Colbert. this fight, yeah, the guy with the he had he wearing like the snow cone colored hat. I don't know him, baby. But uh hey, you know what? I ain't gonna worry about it. You know, big ups to Tank. Big ups to Hector Garcia. I can't wait wait for I mean I'm ready to see the Ryan Garcia and Better Tank. Believe it. I ain't even gonna lie. And honestly, me personally, as far as with that fight. I actually think that Tank gonna beat Ryan. I really do. I mean, Ryan is. I hope he's not going in it with the speed, and I hope that he's started working. I hope that Ryan Garcia worked on that footwork. Because if he hasn't worked on that footwork, he could he could possibly be a sitting duck for Tank Davis, no doubt. And to my brother-in-law, Mr. Buck, <laughs> talk about oh, Tank, listen to you. He gonna get knocked out. He gonna lose the fight. I, I, he gonna lose the fight and he can't even hear me. But I'm telling him what to do from the TV in a whole different city state. Yet Tank Corner is telling him to do exactly what I'm telling the TV to tell ah. Tank to do. And that hey. boy won the fight. Like I said, he say, won the fight. Big ups to all the fights that came on last night. Oh, hey, it was all right, good. Look. Because everybody was close to getting their ass hey. No doubt. Except for, except for Boo Boo Andre, my man. My man, Boo Boo Andre. That man, was a close Demetrius one. Andre. Hey, he was moving up. Mm -hmm. He moved up, so no doubt. He did doubt. his thing. He did his thing last Canelo night. Canelo tried it, look but, what happened. But at the same mm -hmm. time, Ellis and Boots Enos. <laughs> hey, Boots Enos. Hey, big us to Boots Enos because he did his thing too. But Ellis, man, I seen it coming with Vila, man. Vila kept on pressing in the fight, and Ellis kept on fighting off the back foot. Ellis have he has a lot of speed and he was enduring in that fight. But it was him fighting off the back foot. He wasn't able to produce no power off of that back foot. And Vila kept walking through all his licks. And Vila finally was able to penetrate towards the end and get the win. He got the win. This would be a great lesson to Ellis. This would be a great lesson to Ellis, no doubt. But uh, like I say, and as far as with Boots seeing this. Man, Boots, man, you just a beast, bro. I ain't gonna lie, man. I love how Boots was was working that southpaw, that stands, you know what I'm saying? And he 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 did the work they needed to do. I mean, a lot of people might be like, man, I want to see Boots knock him out, but Boots showed that he he can go past the sixth round. He showed that he he's able to endure and, and still carry that power and speed all the way to the 12. Yeah, he was a good fighter. That dude is a beast. He really he's is a, a good beast. fighter. And who we supposed to fight next? Man, they're trying to get it to where possibly he can face Errol Spence. Oh, Lord, I hope that happens because somebody needs to Spence that ass. <laughs> it's time. Hey, that's another talk. That's another talk, babe. We're going to talk about that on another one.